introducing you to the Ritchie Power Draft. The Power Draft is a three-way shedding gate which goes on the end of the combi clamp uh, to give you control over which way you want the lamps to be split. The Power Draft is uh, a unit which we're using clean power. We're using a 12 volt battery to power it. Uh, many of you may actually have a combi clamp uh, with an existing manual three-way shedding gate and we do offer uh, a kit, a conversion kit, to make it into the power draft. The real benefit with the power draft is the fact that it makes it much easier for the operator. You're not having to reach and open and close gates manually. It helps just speed up the flow, makes it nice and easy. The power draft unit, when you get it, will already have the electric actuators mounted on and the remainder of the kit that you have you will see positioned here in front of me. What you will have is a battery, a leisure battery. You will have a short cable. This is the cable that goes between the indicator and the power box, this box here. You will also have a battery cable. You'll see it has two spades on the end there for uh, putting onto your leisure battery. And we have, there are two leads here which drive the, the actuators. And you will also have another lead which has the micro switch on it. Installation is very simple. What we'll put on first is the leads that go from the actual actuators here. Uh, both ends are different, so you cannot uh, put them on the wrong way around. We'll now install the second lead into the second electric actuator. Next thing we'll do is install the power box. The power box is located onto the auxiliary frame of the combi clamp. Mounts neatly. Just put a nut on the back to secure it. I will now install the two power leads into the control box. One in there. And the second one in here. Makes no difference which side you put these power leads on. I'll now install the short link lead that goes between the indicator and the power draft control box. in there and it then goes into the middle socket on the indicator. Now going to install the power lead from the battery to the control box and the power lead goes on to this end socket. These two ends go on to the battery. There's a post positive and a negative post. Put the caps on. On the battery itself there is an on-off switch here. Switch off, switch on and there's also a battery test button. If I press that it tells you the status of charge on the battery. The next step is fitting the micro switch, which is quite straightforward. You come to the back of the clamp and have the clamp in the open position. And basically we are going to put the micro switch onto this box section, this vertical box section. And you'll need to have the actual uh, spring lever just sitting above the horizontal. 
and we then tighten the thumb screw behind, tighten it up securely so that this does not move. That is the micro switch position. Now that we've installed the micro switch, we're now ready to set up the EasyWay 7i. A point to note is that should you for some reason not want to connect the power draft system to the waste system, in the kit we actually supply a signaler plug and it would be positioned in the position that the lead would normally go between the control box and the EasyWay 7. So the signaler plug would be into this position. That allows you to use the power draft without connecting to any waste system. However, we're at the stage we want to set up the EasyWay 7, so I shall put the connection lead back in place. To access the draft facility, we press the menu button. It comes up with statistics on the screen and we then scroll down using the arrow down button till you come to setups. To enter setups, press enter, takes us into draft. We press enter once more and it comes up with drafting with no ID. On the system with an EasyWay 7, we can only draft by weight. We are not able to draft with ID. So we're going to draft with weight, and to do so, we arrow down. We set our low limit. We have to also set our upper limit. For demonstration purposes, I've set the low limit at 22 kilograms. I then arrow down. I would set my high limit, which I've set at 38 kilos for demonstration purposes. I then arrow down. It takes me into the direction. I want to have the low direction animal going to the left, so I keep on pressing the enter key until I get the arrow going the way I wish. I then press the arrow down button. Mid direction, I'm going to have set going straight forward. Again, I keep on pressing the enter key do I get the arrow going in the direction I want it to be in? I then press the arrow down button, and that gives me the high direction, which I want, on this occasion, the animal to go to the right. I then press the escape button, once, twice, three times, and that brings me back to the zero screen. That means I'm now ready for doing the weighing, the trial weighing. Very simple system. Uh, as I said earlier, anybody who already has a standard three-way shedding gate or drafting gate, we can offer a kit to make it a power draft. So for any further information, don't hesitate to contact any of our area sales managers, or alternatively, uh, give us a call on our office number in Forfar. We'd be delighted to talk with you.